Hey everybody, it's JJ. Today we're having a special day. Today Mikey and I are going to the candy store. JJ, this is just awful. Get out of the house as soon as you can. There's a real disaster in our village. Mikey, why did you break my windows? What's going on? There's a tsunami of lava headed for our village. It's just something incredibly dangerous. Oh no. This tsunami of lava could destroy our village completely. It's really a very dangerous thing. Let's examine it as best we can. We don't have much time to save ourselves. We need to do something and fast. First of all, we need to tell all the villagers and get them to hide in a safe place. We need to come up with a plan to get away from this tsunami. It will destroy us in our village if we don't do something. Villagers, get to safety now. There's a tsunami of lava coming at us. If you don't hurry, you will be destroyed. JJ, this is just unbelievably horrible. Many villagers are already panicking and starting to run. Things are really bad. We've never encountered anything like this before. In fact, this is the first disaster in my memory. We can't save everyone, Mikey. We won't have time to build an incredibly cool bunker. We have to do things differently. How do you want to proceed? Do you have any ideas on exactly how we can survive this tsunami? Actually, I do have a plan. We need to run home as fast as possible and I'll explain everything to you. It will be really risky. But if we do it, we'll definitely escape the lava. I guarantee you that. If that really happens, I'll be incredibly happy that you've come up with an ingenious rescue plan. Can you tell me what you plan to build in the first place? What it's even going to be? Yes, of course. Since we can't build a huge bunker to save everyone, we need to build a small bunker to save ourselves. I have a special mechanism in my house that can make us very, very small. That means we can make an incredibly small house. That does sound very interesting indeed. Let's use it as soon as possible and see what it would even look like. Mikey, just don't get scared. This thing actually makes you incredibly small. It might even be very, very dangerous. So, just be careful. I don't think anything can scare me. But anyway, apparently, this is our last chance for survival. This is the mechanism right here? Whoa, that's really something that could save us. JJ and I have gotten just unbelievably small. Yeah, Mikey. Now, we need to find a place to build our little house. It has to be open. But we're not going to make our house out of simple blocks. We're going to make our house out of water blocks. This is going to be really cool. Water blocks? So we're building a water house to withstand a tsunami of lava? That sounds incredibly cool. I think that's a good idea too. Somewhere here on the sand, we can start building our water house. The lava shouldn't be able to break it. But I can say with confidence that I don't know if our house can withstand this lava or not. That is the eternal question for us. If our water house can't withstand the lava, it will be incredibly bad. But at least we tried to do something really cool. Anyway, it's going to be really fun for our friends to find out who's stronger. Mikey and JJ's water house versus tsunami of lava. It really is. Water blocks, in my opinion, should be much stronger than lava. That's why we'll be able to make a completely water house. What else is interesting? We'll be making the walls and roof out of water. That means we don't need any doors here. We'll be able to float on the house itself. That's really very convenient because we won't need to close the door. Whoa, that does sound very interesting. I want to see exactly what we can do. After all, we're going to spend a lot of time on it. Friends, but before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe and like us. Your support is very important to us. The more likes you give, the more cool videos we'll have. And of course, your activity will help us win this battle a lot. The battle of our water house against a tsunami of lava. This is really going to be interesting to watch. I really hope the villagers found a place to hide from the lava. Either they ran away from the village altogether. We're busy with other things right now. I think many of the villagers have actually fled the village because they won't have such cool houses. I think it's going to be an incredibly interesting story for us. We will either win or lose to this tsunami. We have no other choice. I think it's going to be okay. The most important thing for us is to make a strong house so that no lava can spill over here. It will be really very easy because you and I are the best builders in the whole village, Mikey. We have a lot of experience with this. The most important thing is to build a really, really strong and big house so that the lava can't get in here and destroy us. I think we can handle it. Of course, there will be a lot of difficulties, but we will do it sooner or later. The whole problem is that we have a time limit. When it all starts, we need to finish this house as soon as possible. This tsunami is going slow enough, so we need to build while we can. 
I really hope we can get it done in time. What a pity it will be for our whole village. It will really be flooded and destroyed by the lava. It will be very dangerous for all of us. The problem is that we can't do anything about it, Mikey. We can't stop a tsunami that big. Not even if we wanted to. We don't have any superpowers, or possibly the resources to make a wall of water right now. It's going to be very, very difficult. I understand, but we need to think about how we can survive in this water house. This could go on for a very, very long time. We could try to shrink all the villagers and even the animals to make our own water village. If only it could be done that way. I would actually do something like that. Would be able to save the villagers and then everyone else. Organize my own village here. That would be just the perfect plan that would suit us. But that would be incredibly hard to do too, JJ. The problem is that when the lava falls on the village, there will be nothing left of our wooden house. No blocks, no diamonds. Even the cookies will be destroyed. Now that's really unbelievably awful. Yeah, we're really going to lose a lot of stuff, Mikey. But there's no need to be upset and downhearted about it. We can get it all back. When we make our water house, we can make our mine. It's going to be so incredibly cool. We'll be able to mine for resources and more. That's if we take the possibility that our water house will contain the lava. Then, that would be just unbelievably perfect. Yeah, that's something to consider too. But if it gets really bad, we'll just burrow underground. That's the only way out. I don't feel much like sleeping in a mine, that's why. I'll do whatever I can to save myself from it. Mikey, we've really done quite a lot of things already. So we need to keep doing it and keep doing it. I'm sure we'll make it through. Each of us is doing our best to save each other. After all, we are best friends and that can't be taken away from us. Yeah, it's so good that we're always together with JJ. We'll still be here building our furniture, bed, tables, food, and fridge. Yes, we will need to furnish our whole house. After all, the most important thing is to keep it cozy and incredibly cool for us here. It won't compare to the comforts of our last house, but I think we can organize something incredibly cool for ourselves. So, we just need to get together and make it incredibly cool. It'll be good for all of us, friends. The very first thing we have to do is to get organized to make ourselves comfortable. We need to put up some nice furniture. It's so nice that we have some blocks in stock to get it all done. It's going to be really very nice indeed. I'll build us a fridge full of food so we'll definitely have enough for a few days. After all, we don't know how long we'll be here. That's a great idea, Mikey. It's so good that we brought a little bit of everything with us. It'll help us survive. I'm very interested in how the villagers will survive. I think we might be able to get all this lava off our village one day. All our houses in the village are made entirely of wood. They will start to burn very quickly and nothing will help them. So we can't even hope to rebuild anything. We'll have to do it all over again. It's really terrible. I was hoping we could replicate our success and finish this whole thing as quickly as possible. Then build a village. I'd rather do my village inside the water house or next to it. If you think about it that way, we should have enough blocks to build more houses nearby. Then, if we can shrink our villagers, we can of course move them into those houses. That would be just brilliant. Mikey, I didn't think I could say this, but you're a genius. If we can make little houses side by side, everything will be comfortable for everyone. We still need to make a bathroom, a TV, and some kind of entertainment. Mikey, let's do just that. I think we could organize things much faster and better. But the problem is that it's taking us too long to get organized. We could do it faster. I think we're all doing 100%. I mean, we're just incredibly awesome builders. We could do it really fast. I'm sure we still have a lot of work to do. But the lava is already starting to move towards us. So, we have to get ready and hope we survive. Don't be afraid, Mikey. We will definitely escape this tsunami of lava, and our water house will beat it. I can say with confidence that we built just an incredibly cool house, JJ. I literally love everything about it. Yeah, Mikey. We've really turned a boring water house into a real house of two friends. I love it unbelievably. Friends, please rate our house because we really took a long time to turn it into something incredibly cool. I can say with confidence that we are incredibly ready to fight against this lava. We need to know if our house can stand up to it. If it can, awesome. I am confident that our house can withstand any lava attack. After all, we really did build it for a long, long time. That's an indicator. 
I think that each of us should do something to defeat this tsunami. I don't think we have done enough and we can lose to it if we do. You think too badly of our house, JJ. I was worried too, whether we could make it through or not. But now comes the realization that we all can. This is incredibly awesome. All we have to do is put in some small details. Put up the lights and of course get ready for the lava to flood us from above. It could be very dangerous. But that's okay. We'll definitely be able to withstand it all and of course save our village. I'm sure of it. More than ever before. We just needed a place that can protect us. This is it. That's why we can start saving the village and the villagers. It's not that simple. The lava is really very destructive. After all, if we make a mistake, it can completely destroy us. We have to be very careful with all this. I'm telling you how it has to be done. Otherwise, we are nobody against this lava. You're worrying too much. You definitely need to eat a cookie to gather your thoughts. Everything will be fine with us. Now we're going to put in some more extra light. It will help us a lot if we close ourselves off completely from this lava. We're going to need a lot more space. I really hope we can at least get something for ourselves. The water might start to evaporate. JJ, the more you think about things, the less chance we have of surviving this. You have to pull yourself together and not panic. Every one of us has already done everything we can to escape this lava. The villagers hid and ran away. We made an incredibly cool house. So we have to pull together and act until the very end. Phew, friends. We finally finished building it all. It's really been a long time coming. But now we're going to find out if our house can churn out lava. All we have to do is wait for it to cover us. Then we can definitely come up with some plan to get around it and escape. Yes, friends. We will be with you when the tsunami hits us in our house. JJ, would you look at all this? The tsunami actually managed to cover all of us. Us and the village. But we are still living. Really, our water house doesn't allow it to go any further. That means we've won. It's too early to rejoice. At any moment, the lava could go further, and then it would be very bad for us. We need to build a ladder. That's right. We need to build a ladder to the top to try to get out or make a house inside another block. Just in case. I just want to see how much lava got in, and if we can even get out. If not, then it's a bad idea. We should make ourselves an escape route anyway, just in case. After all, we can't know exactly how long the lava will hold on. The sooner we get all this done, the better. We'll be able to check the lava level and how badly our village has been affected. It could be very dangerous. Mikey, this is unbelievably horrible. The lava has covered all of us and even our house. We have to put up defenses. Let's start building a water wall. It will have to contain all this lava. Hey, what did you do? How did you get all that lava out? Mikey, most likely the water blocks will completely destroy that lava if you put them next to each other. It's absorbed. This could be a victory. Yoo-hoo! That means we can remove a lot of lava. Let's put the water blocks and move on. We need to get somewhere at least. This way, we can actually build ourselves a little road and walk where we need to go. The best part is that we'll be able to expand our territory and of course keep it under control. Water is stronger than lava after all. Yes, that's what we've been able to prove. One block of water completely destroys lava. That means we have a chance to win. Mikey, put up as many water blocks as you can so that the lava will definitely not go any further. This could be a really big test for us. We have to get to at least one house to see what's left of it. The faster we get there, the faster we can get to our house with Mikey. There are so many resources in our house that would help us 100%. It's not good to give them up. But we are really taking a big risk. Because if the blocks can't hold for very long, the lava could fall on us and destroy us. That's definitely not going to happen, JJ. We'll be able to pull ourselves out of this problem. Mikey, there aren't many of us left and we'll make it to the house. We need to make it as fast as we can. It's just unbelievably hot in here. Yahoo, this house wasn't destroyed. That means we can get inside and wait it out a bit, of course. That'll be useful. The whole problem is that we'll still have to find our way back. I don't think we can keep going like this. Our mission is going to fail. How can you say that, JJ? We are the strongest and most agile in the whole village. We've always accomplished every mission. That means the sooner the better. You must realize I don't want to take any chances. It's going to take a long time to get to our house in this state. It could be very dangerous. JJ, get here as fast as you can. We can get through the tree more safely here. Oh no, the lava has gotten inside the house. 
That means the place is about to start burning. We need to decide where we need to go as soon as possible. JJ, you're totally right. This place is literally on fire. The wood, the house. We need to get home as fast as we can. It's safe there. I told you that from the beginning. We're in a big trap right now. Everything's on fire and there's lava all around. Let's run back as fast as we can. We'll probably have to say goodbye to our things early and forever. It will take us a long time to get to them. We'll still have a 100% chance to escape and get to our house. But we have to get on with our stuff now immediately. That is to expand the area for the villagers' houses. I'm sure we'll be able to solve all the issues sooner or later and get to the villagers to help them. They are definitely alive. Ouch! Swimming in that lava is really painful. But apparently this is the only chance we have to get home. I'm really hurt. JJ, put up as many blocks as you can to clear our territory for our village. Phew, we made it through. Yes, friends. We were able to pass all the tests and our water house defeated this lava tsunami. We will say goodbye to you. Bye, everyone, and see you soon.